No. Now, as I said at the beginning of the lesson, that some of you said, teacher, I want to make this as my base. I want to make this is my base. So I told her, okay, if you want to use this base, which is AB, you have to check where's an altitude that is perpendicular on this base. You say, teacher, this is this one. I told you, okay, if you find the base and it is perpendicular altitude, you can find the area of parallelogram. Okay, so here now, the area of parallelogram and another one says, teacher, no, I don't want this parallelogram, this space, sorry. Teacher, I want to make or to use this space. I told you, okay, if you want to use this base, you have to check or to search about an altitude that is perpendicular on this base or the line of this base. You said, me, teacher, yes, it's found. It is nine. Now, if you have the base and the height, can you find the area of this parallelogram? Yes, the area of the parallelogram is B times H, which is 13 times nine. This is the base, and this is an altitude height, where 13 times 9 is 117. 117 inch squared. Now, this is the second student says, teacher, I want this is my, to make this my base, and this is my altitude. Another one says, no, teacher. I didn't want to use or to make this this one my base. I want now to use this or to make this one is my base and this height that is perpendicular on it is my altitude. I told her, okay, you can't, yeah. So because of that now, the area of this parallelogram will be B times H. Where is B? It is 9.4. Where is H? It's not given. It is DE. Okay. How can you find DE now? I will ask myself one question. Did I have the same parallelogram? Is the parallelogram here changing or I have only one parallelogram? No, it's the same. It does not. It is change. the same. So because it is the same, so it has the same area. So if one of you use this base with this height, he must have the same area. If he he use this long, this the base with this height, so you must have the same area. What does it mean? That's mean I can use this given area here to find the unknown dimension. Is it clear? Yes. 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 Okay. So now, I mean here that I want to find a, a unknown dimension. How? I have the same Give it, I have the same uh, parallelogram. Because I have the same parallelogram, so I can find the area from the given di uh, dimensions for me. Then I can use also the same area to find the unknown dimension, which is DE. So here now, I have HDE, I have V9.4, I have the area 117. From where I get the area? From the un uh, from any another dimensions, but I'm talking about the same parallelogram. So then divide by 9.4, divide by 9.4. So now the length of the line segment DE is 117 divided by 9.4. 
which it's is 12.44. And this would be now the, the length of DE. Is it clear? Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Look at this got it one two here. In this one here, there's a parallelogram has a size 15 centimeter and 18 centimeter. Okay, so here now one by one. You have a parallelogram. This one, one is 15 and the second is 18. Now, now by the way, why do we call them parallelogram? Parallelogram. Who can tell me? Because each two sides are parallel to each other. Yes, thank you. Because each two sides are parallel to each other. This one and this one are parallel. And also, if you draw a second or another side, like this one here, and this one here, they are perpendicular to each other. That's why we call it parallelogram. Parallelogram. Okay. So now he told me that it has two sides, 15 and 18. The height corresponding to a 15 centimeter is 9. That's mean if there's here a height, if there's a height, and this height is perpendicular to it, it's Its length now is nine centimeter. And what is the height that is perpendicular to the 18? Tell me now, what is the height that is perpendicular to the 18? This one, we name it with X. So here in this parallelogram, here we have two sides, 15 and 18. For the 15, this, the perpendicular on it is 9, and for the 18, the line or the altitude that is perpendicular to it, we name it with x. I want you now to find this x. Here now, it has the same idea as the previous one. What does it mean? That means I have only one parallelogram. So, if I want now to find the area of the parallelogram with this base and this height you can say it is 18 times x and if you want also to find its area but now using this base with this height you will tell me teacher now the area is 15 where it is the height of the base times 9 <coughs> where well, it is 135 centimeters squared. So the another student teacher, okay, say I can say teacher, I, I can find the area of parallelogram by multiplying 15 times nine, which is, which is sorry, 135. Then since now we have the same parallelogram, so I have the same area. So I will use this number here that I found it before, to find the n given dimension, which is x. So 135 is equal 18x. Divide by 18, divide by 18. So 
x now is 135 divided by 18, which is 7.5. Is it clear? Yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Now, look at this question here. We have the same idea. Find the value of H for each parallelogram. Let's do number 12. Number 12 here. Now, Habiba. Yes, teacher. Give me one way to find the area of this parallelogram in number 12. We can sub, uh, suppose that the base is 10 and the height is 14, no, I'm so 10. About the number two, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, okay. So the base is 0 0.4. Thank you. Where's the height that is perpendicular on it? 0 0.3. Thank you. Then after that, you multiply them and you get 12 units squared. This is a way to find this area of parallelogram. Thank you. Now, I want um, Yara. Yes, Yara. Yes. Give me, can you please give me the another way to find this, the area of this parallelogram? Um, 0 0.5 H equal a 0 0.12 times H. Thank you. And we have the same area. So I can say this is <clears throat> the area is 0 0.12 equal 0 0.5 times H over 0 0.5 over 0 0.5. You can find now which is equal 0 0.24 which is yes so the height now is 0 0.24 units thank you yara is it clear yes yes okay okay now we have but this is can you wait a second i just want to try to answer Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, let's do now number 11. Here we have only two minutes left. We will do number 11. And number 11 here. Um, uh, Rose, uh, sorry, um, Sarah. Hello, teacher, me. <laughs> Sarah, I want you now to find, they give the, uh, to help me now to find the area of this parallelogram. Yes, Sara. Um, ten and fourteen. Thank you. If you say, teacher, I want this ten or this ten, they are the same. So now, if it this is ten, here it is perpendicular one, which is height. The fourteen here. No, wait, not ten and fourteen. Look at me here. If you say that I want this height or is it eight and ten? If you have used this one, this is H. That's perpendicular on it. 
The second one, it is 14, and its perpendicular height, which is 8. Okay, so the first one, you say, this is my base, and this is my perpendicular height, which is 8. So you will say it is 14 times 8. Okay, Sara? Yes, teacher. And the answer here is 112 units squared. The second one now, can you give me another way to find the area? Uh, 10 and H. 10 and H, thank you. And we have the same area, which is 112, equal 10 H. So H is what now? Divide 10, divide 10. 